Hello one and everyone, happy almost Thanksgiving. My name is Joanna and happy Teen Book Tuesday. This week I have for you Scythe, let me get the whole thing in the frame, Scythe by Neil Schusterman. And apart from having a completely awesome cover image, this book is really good. And if you're at all a fan of The Hunger Games, you should check this out. So Scythe is set in the future, um, and it's a Earth future in which all sorts of disease and old age and natural causes of death have been eliminated. So basically everyone lives forever. And in addition to living forever, um, people can also have this medical procedure done where they like rewind their age so they can become younger than they are. So there's no disease, there's no death, um, everyone's pretty rich, there are basically no problems. Except with everyone living forever, um, the powers that be or whoever's in charge needed to find out a way to exercise some population control. Enter the Scythes, who are a group of people whose job, whose profession it is to decide how and when people die. So if you're just a normal person in this world, you don't know much about the Scythes. They're just these kind of big, powerful, um, awe-inspiring figures. And so in this book, our two main characters, Citra and Rowan, are both chosen as apprentices to the Scythes. And neither of them really want the job, but they don't really have a choice. They have to learn how to kill people, when to kill people, how to choose people that need to be killed. They don't love it, but they have to do it. And as they go through their training, they start to realize that some Scythes are not as honorable as others. And there's a lot of corruption within the Scythe organization. So can Citra and Rowan fight the corruption, or will they become corrupted themselves? So Scythe is actually the first book in a duology, so two, two books together. The second one is called Thunderhead and is coming out in January. So there's danger, there's death, there's adventure, two different love stories. Check it out. This book's really good. So next week, I will be reading two books by uh, an author named Rainbow Rowell. The first is called Fangirl, and the second one's called Carry On. And they are actually go together really nicely, so I'm excited to tell you about them. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Um, if you're traveling, drive safe and have a good weekend.